what is up guys you're watching the simple designers and in today's video we're gonna complete the day 15 of the daily logo challenge so today's request is to make a hand lettering logo but before we start this video i want to mention that i'm far away from being a hand lettering artist and i do respect designers who are specialized in typography and hand lettering so if you are interested in this kind of videos i would suggest visiting will patterson or their future youtube channel they have amazing tutorials out there so uh, make sure to pay them a visit and without further ado let's get started so as you see i'm inside illustrator and i have this template what i did basically is to grab a pen and paper and try to write small word with a few letters to make it easier for me to trace it later i would suggest you go with three to five letters and I would also suggest that you avoid the S letter since it's the hardest letter to draw in the alphabet. So what I'm going to do is select my sketch, go to layers and make it a template. Then I need to set up my guides and make sure to turn on the smart guides and the rulers. Now I'm going to grab my first guide and put it in the baseline and also I'm going to grab a second guide and try to establish the x height what i'm going to do now is to select my pen tool and try to draw a straight line that follows the slant of the k letter then i'm going to turn it to a guide using command 5 then i'm going to duplicate it to the right so we have the width of one letter and i'm going to do the same thing for the y and the s So now that I have my guides template in place, I can lock them together and start to trace my first letter. I'm gonna select my pen tool and start right over here. I'm gonna draw a small line while following the guides and I'm also dragging the handles while following the guides. So always follow the guides uh, to make it a perfect curve. Now I'm gonna also drag this one to the top. As you see, I'm following the guides to make it a perfect curve now what i'm going to do is to give it a stroke so let's select the stroke and give it a nice stroke i'm going to also go to stroke options and make sure to have some round borders Now that I have the first part in place, I'm going to select the pen tool again and draw the second line. So I'm going to start uh, on the top and I'm going to draw a straight line to the bottom. Now I need to draw this part. So I'm going to select the ellipse. I'm going to draw a small ellipse and I'm going to make sure to delete this point. So I have this half ellipse. Then I'm going to select my direct selection tool and drag it. To make it snap okay now uh, i'm gonna try to make it a little bit smaller so i'm gonna select the scale tool and put the anchor point to the to the bottom then i'm gonna scale it like this so now it's a little bit smaller and i think it's fine so i'm gonna leave it this way then i'm gonna select this anchor point and i'm gonna join them together i'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom section so i'm gonna select my ellipse tool and draw a larger ellipse okay now i'm gonna put it in place i'm gonna grab this anchor point move it to the top then select this one delete it and now i'm gonna grab this ellipse or this half ellipse i'm gonna put it on the guide now we need to join these two anchor points so i'm going to select them average them both and press command g to join them together so basically we finished tracing the first letter i'm just playing with it a little bit playing with the direct selection tool and trying to smooth out the anchor points so i'm selecting each anchor points and i'm dragging the handles while following the guides to make it smooth and remove the kinky points in this path i'm going to do the same thing for the second letter so i'm going to speed up the video a little bit and i'm going to see you when we are finished
So as you see we finished our first hand lettering piece, it's far from being perfect but it's just a challenge as I said and we are trying to improve our typography skills. So that's it for this video guys, I hope that you liked it, I hope that you enjoyed it and if so make sure to comment in the comment section below, make sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed to this channel and see you in the next one as always keep it simple designers. Thank you.